guys, let me talk about Empire Wednesday. Guys, I'm so sorry I did not get a chance to do that review because, guys, y'all know I was sick. But, guys, I'm still going to do this damn review anyway. Guys, Empire Wednesday was busting, okay? It was so much going on between Lucius. It was so much going on between uh, everybody, y'all. Let's just get to this review. Okay. So we all know from last week's episode, Anika went to see Beretti. Bitch. Now, let me tell you this. Anika was trying to set... Lucius up. Guys, from the very fucking beginning, I was like, okay, okay, I wonder, is Lucius gonna find it if she trying to set him up? And guess who who spilled the tea to Lucius? Cookie spilled the tea to Lucius that Anika went to Beretti and oh my god, all hell broke loose after that. Oh my god, I love it. Cookie so much on this part right so, Lucius and Anika was talking to, I guess, the person that was going to plan a wedding. But mind you, after everything, after all that came through, Miss Cookie came through with the shade baby on Anika. Boo boo kitty. Boo boo kitty. Yo, you yeah, you you know you got your ass got, okay? You got your ass told on and you knew it was gonna happen. She playing you. Oh, hell Excuse no. Excuse me. We are in the middle of planning a wedding. Excuse way. me. You in the middle of getting your ass gone. You too, fake ass Jackie. Yo, kick <laughs> Business. What are you doing? She working with Baratti. My head flew off. Yeah, oh. while you up in here planning weddings, this bitch planning how to steal everything you got, which is everything I got, and I'm not finna let that happen. Tell her, Boo Boo Kitty. <laughs> um, she she. Uh, uh, I, 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 she she. Boo 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 Boo. Oh, now you can't speak English. Oh, damn. <laughs> yes, she did, Lucius, and she tried to take poor show. Did you pay Portia to spy on me? And I spy right back on your ass, <laughs> Lucius. This is uh. not how I. You know what? You about to break yourself. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Cookie. You better Alicia, fucking go off. On, let's go break. Go let's ahead. Help her move out. Oh, I know. Lucius is pissed off at Anika. Uh, Cookie is throwing all her shit outside the door. Uh, and and uh, Portia is helping her. And oh my God, they... Uh, uh, Nick and uh, Lucius arguing back and forth. He like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't take it like that. Blah, 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 blah. She's saying, I'm done with your black ass. Blah, 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 blah. Push comes to shove. And then we get seen Beretti in the car. Oh, my God. He was like, I'm ready to fight. Let's start the war. Oh, hell no. Get to this kick ass, bad ass, cold ass song by Jesse Smullett. Oh my God! I, I God, he was bringing Prince. He was doing a little bit of Maxwell and Prince on this shit. Oh my God! From the moment I heard this shit, I'm like, this motherfucker did a Prince. Oh hell no! I guess he was, you know, after he, he they were shooting for the video of um, all of the above, guys, then that's when we get into, I guess when Portia came to, to get Jamal and said that we have, we have war, this is war, we have a family meeting at Empire, blah, 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 something like that. You know, and I then and then uh, a little bit after that, I guess they, I guess he Jamal was preparing for the song for Delphine, who is Estelle, who also guest starred on this episode. Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you, Malcolm. <laughs> I guess Cookie got a little thing for Malcolm. Oh my God! Please don't get me started with Andre. Me, Andre showed his ass for real on this episode. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I, I, I'm going to get back. I'm going to get back. I ain't got time to be speaking to Andre. Andre is going to be last. The last person I talk about at the end. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Andre, black ass, pouring, pouring out all the pills. He threw all the pills in the garbage. I mean, I mean, not in the garbage, but in, in, the, in the damn toilet. Y'all, I ain't got time. This motherfucker is crazy. As the meeting is going on there. This morning, Beretti tried to test see. our heart. Now we're ready, you know, I guess, got everybody all hot, now, you know. Of Empire is its family, 
And like any family, we've had our differences. But when the family is in crisis, they put the differences aside and they come together. So we have less than 24 hours. See, Lucius keep talking all this, but he keep letting personal stuff get to him about Jamal, about Cookie, about Andre, about Hakeem. Y'all, I don't know what Lucius is trying to prove, but... The family ain't falling for it. And guys, you know, as he's doing this little meeting, you know, he's doing this little speech about family should come together and we should put our stuff aside. He keeps saying this, but every time Jamal come or every time Cookie come with him or something, he always got to go back off his ego. And guys, but, but then this is when we get into um, the rest of the stuff that went on on this episode. The elevator scene with Andre, Jamal, and Hakeem, baby. Because Nika just moved on. She signed to Bar Billy Beretti's ordeal. And he, they, they, they just trying to... They, it's a back and forth war. Everybody's against everybody now. Anika has been betrayed. And, you know, um... She, she's gonna do whatever it is. That bitch ain't got what it takes to, uh, to, to come against, uh, Empire, baby. I'm sorry. Yes. V, v Veronica, somebody, I, I guess was singing and was doing a little audition for, uh, Beretti and talking about some, oh, I'ma do more than you, than what, uh, uh, uh Lucius did for you in here, bitch. Yes, who strolls in the office? Lead enticements. Andre. For artists and managers, that's just a must. And those auditors, those damn auditors, they can't know. It's from a cash account. Woo, baby, look at all that money in that damn briefcase, sure. baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yo, we're buying loyalty with hookers and blow. That's not Empire. Now, this is the music business. Huh. When they take hookers and blow to try and reclaim some of the artists that took off after you went prancing about with your little freak flag. We know what you're right about one thing. Mm, Sexual proclivities will put us in this position. Yes, Beretti trying to smooth talk over to Anika and trying to do this little freaky ordeal and talking about some, your legs is cr or something like that, y'all. It, it, it's getting crazy. A after the little meeting session that was going on between Lucius and everybody and the family and everybody, you know, they all trying to find more people to come come work for Empire, you know, and, and they all trying to fight. But Anika, I don't know how far she's going to go when she's with Beretti. Beretti is just sneaky. <laughs> they don't know how to let men drink in I peace. only see one man in here, and he's been happy and prosperous at Empire. Am I right? You know, I could be happy a lot of places, Cookie. Why don't you let G's do what they do? And then you come back when it's time to clean up. <laughs> you ain't no G. <laughs> you some Mark. Damn, go ahead. I 17 years in the phase. I know a buster when I see Oh, shit. Oh, so you get time, huh? Yep. Mm. In the room, they all are drunk as shit, okay? After all that, Cookie gets drunk with these dudes after she's talking, you know, talking trash back and forth with them. Because, you know, she's trying to sign one of the dudes up in there or something like that. But, guys, it gets crazy. That is the funniest part of the episode. Please don't get me started. We get to when Jamal and Estelle work on their song, guys. Let's get into it. It's can to get people to join Empire. Lucia's, uh, I guess, signed this artist named Trave or uh, Jose or oh, somebody. Yeah, anyway, he's overseas and, or, 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 or Mexican or Latin or something. Uh, if you correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. But uh, as they give, as Lucius is giving him the speech about why he should join Empire. Guess who steps in to try, uh, and tries to make it seem like they know what the hell they talking about. Andre does the exact most like he usually does. Guys, I ain't got time for him. Look, Look at him. And you're an equity partner Look. in everything. Can't no other label do this, man. Look. Not one. Why? They never seen you acting like yourself. I'm independent. Jackass. I'm not paying these 30%. Bitch ain't in the After all that had happened, then we get into Hakeem is, is throwing shade and Lucia's talking about some, how you gonna make me be your little pet? You know you ain't supposed to make Andre be the head of the, 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 the um company. You know you supposed to make me be your favorite. You supposed to focus on me, not Andre. All this back and forth brother to brother family action and, and, and y'all, but th this is when we get into the elevator. Saying, oh we my god, to the elevator saying, I uh, uh, um, Malcolm 
Yes, I finally got his name. Malcolm Derek Luke, who, who was playing Malcolm, who was their security guard or whatnot. Uh, 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 defends and, and, take, and fights the fans for Cookie because Cookie was being stalked by some dude and she was on her way back out to the car. When he found that that she was drunk, oh my God, she was in the car saying so. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm beginning to like you, Malcolm, and blah, blah, blah. blah. She just... Talking crazy, saying that some uh, she she started having the thing. She's talking about some she wanted him to have sex with her and blah 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 blah. Y'all, Cookie is a hot ass mess on this show. She's the best on this show right now, y'all. But anyway, that that scene was just so funny. After Malcolm whooped the old dude ass for trying to come after Cookie, it it, it just got more hilarious when they was on making their way back to the into the car. Dre lost his damn mind. Andre, the bipolar bitch, lost his mind. What's this? Picking up the new car, brother. He is so irritating. Got to wind down the artist and style, right? That's my job. You do know that's my job to wind down the artist and style. That's what I do. I take care of everybody. You bought a new car. I just slush for money. Dad want that money and he looking for you. You gonna be in big trouble. Don't you worry about Andre, baby brother. Andre. What's up? Smoke that gay stuff, man. Yo, the hell's wrong with you? Why would you do that? The hell's wrong with you? Why would you do that? Oh my God, the distinct jealousy. The distinct jealousy that Andre has for his brothers is, is just crazy. Oh my God, then when the lights went from, from red to blue, you just seen a different side of Andre. Like, he just turned to uh, Michael Myers, y'all. He turned to Michael Myers meets fucking Chucky meets. Y'all, I ain't got time. He just lost his damn mind in the elevator. He just started going crazy. They just started saying that it was something wrong with him. Like, he has a mental illness. The elevator scene, guys, which was dreadful, okay? Then Lucius met up with Beretti. Beretti? Hells up a gun to him talking about some you ain't gonna be the one to win. I'm gonna take over you and your empire and blah 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 blah. I'm gonna be the best. I'm gonna be better than you. This is going back and forth. So as the gun is being as Lucius is being held at gunpoint, you know, he he just cool, chilling like a villain, ain't scared of shit. Be the stars. That's what you hate about us. And that's your tragedy. Your tragedy talks in your sleep. Oh, she man. mumbles your name. Oh, oh. This is like some shit off of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas uh, meets Grand Theft Auto 5 meets something. I got what I needed from her and I got rid of her. Oops, I think I did that to you too. <laughs> this doesn't happen here. Mm. You know, I used to pity you mm. when you first lost your he son. He ain't scared of shit. Oh, wow, but see, when he said, I used to pity Beyond you before pity. you lost your son, damn. You and that punk Travi Wild deserve each other. Andre <laughs> lost his mind. But he acting his ass off, though. I don't like his character, but he is acting his ass off. I don't know his name. Anybody up in here? I made him by eight to ten, eight to ten, eight to ten. Every day, I go home and work. That's right. Cause we, cause we, yeah, cause we were babies. Remember, remember when we were kids and there'd be shots outside or uh, Carol acting crazy, all high or whatever. We freak out. You calm us down. You and mom, y'all would sing a song, calm us down, drink. You remember? I don't even remember it. You gotta remember it. Mm -hmm. so then they over here singing Lean On Me Like he a little kid Bitch, Andre quit with the acting Please, please, please But no, it's genius Andre really impressed me with his acting The guy who's playing Andre does an amazing job I know I throw shade on Andre so much On every review But guys, Andre is one of the best right now Because he really acted his ass off on this episode. All they trying to do is get Tiana back in the Empire, but Hakeem is just not... He, you know, he's still a little angry with Tiana for having a girlfriend, which 
you know, okay, I can't blame them. But anyway, uh, push them to say they all trying to work their thing out. But then this is when we get into the, the part where, where, where Hakeem and Anika. When Anika found out that Lucius was already talking to Tiana or, 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 or Cookie was already talking to Tiana, Anika got pissed off. Well, you little bastard. <laughs> I know dad ain't do right by you. Right. I gotta do right by him. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. King. King. Hakeem. Nah, bitch. It's all to the little meeting that um, uh, Lucia's Delphine and her, I guess her little, I guess her manager or something like that and uh, Jamal, as they are having a meeting, then we get to the piano version of You're So Beautiful, guys, which is like the best. It's very gathering. A part is so gathering. It brings everybody together. And it's beautiful, guys. I just love it. It's probably one of my favorite parts uh, of the, tonight's episode. It's just so cute. Uh, I tell us how we're trying to sing. I don't know. Go ahead. Yeah, listen. You look so good when you're walking by. The sexy comes in every size. Keep wearing that, baby. You ain't playing. <laughs> I just love this part. This part was just so classy. It was beautiful. It was just nice. It was bringing everybody together. You're so beautiful. Shake it, shake it. Go, go up, down, up, down, up, down. Y'all, that's my song. I love that song. Go up, down. Andre was active. You taking his side now? You taking his side? Now, this is when I found out something was wrong with him. He was just going. He was just. You never been on my side. What you doing to me, man? I'm trying to help you, son. Oh, son. Oh, so you acknowledge I exist now. I'm your progeny, Yes, huh? you exist. Yes, you are my son, and I love you. Oh, you love me, too. He loves me, too. <laughs> you choosing me to take over Empire since you love me? Wow. You know I haven't decided which one of my sons. Piece of business advice from that Wharton education you paid so handsomely for. You picked the one who knows your mother. Oh. Huh? <laughs> you scared? You scared? Huh? He son, is crazy. Yeah. Son, son, what? Son, calm Feel like when Andre talking the truth, no, the real truth. Andre, calm down. Andre don't have to relax. Andre doesn't have to relax. Andre's carefree, baby. Touch me, I'll kill you. Touch me. Andre's carefree, baby. Relax. Touch me, I'll kill you. Two hands off the truth. Hey, 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 hey. And this is forever, Brandon. Oh my God, I can't wait to do next week's. This episode was phenomenal.